Välkommen till Enköpings kommun. Välkommen till Enköpings kommun. It's so great to live in a country where someone else takes care of your rubbish for you. All people produce waste, regardless of where we are or what we do, we leave a trail of rubbish behind us. It has always been the same, and because of this, archaeologists have been able to piece together mankind's common history. Even the earliest small villages were known to have collected their waste, taking it to special places on the outskirts of the town. Viking rubbish has been one of the most important sources of information on how they lived. Small pieces of combs outside a house tell us that a comb maker lived there and finds of pottery shards show a potter lived in the vicinity. The most common bird bones discovered in the rubbish tips of the Viking village of Birka on Mälaren show that they are from the Eiderduck. And from the high levels of calcium in the bones, which is essential for egg production, researchers know that these ducks were caught during their spring flight north. It's extraordinary what one can learn from a thousand-year-old rubbish tip. It was when the towns increased in population and size that rubbish became a bigger issue. The waste, however, was still natural and could be broken down quite easily, very similar to our use of garden compost today. The biggest change came with the industrialization in the 19th century, when manufactured materials were no longer easily broken down and assimilated back into the earth. Since then, populations grow ever larger and rubbish mountains continue to grow. In the 1960s, it was thought a good idea to burn rubbish, especially as the heat generated could be used to heat homes. However, in time it was discovered that burning the rubbish produced dangerous gases. This had to be eliminated by heating and filtering. More recently we have come up with another strategy to deal with this mountain of rubbish. Unfortunately, rubbish does not simply disappear when we throw it in the bin, but despite this, there is a lot of rubbish that can be recycled. Cardboard is perfect for recycling into new boxes. And this can become part of a new car. All metal in Sweden is recycled. Even small metal caps and lids are important to recycle. If all metal caps were recycled, we could make as much new steel as we needed to make 2,200 cars every year. Many Swedish steelworks use these lids and caps and scrap iron as raw materials. Oh, Johan, I'm going to go in and check it again here on the bottom of the Metal from Enköping is recycled in Halstahammar. After the scrap metal is sorted at the recycling plant, the steel is chopped in.